Hi, amazing Activate Good supporters. I'm Amber Smith, the Executive Director of Activate Good, and I'm here to just share a quick recap of some of our major impacts from Q1 of 2023 and share a little bit more about what's coming down the line and what is on our minds this season. Starting all the way back in January, we kicked off the year strong with MLK Day of Service and Dignity Week, which for us is an extended week of service projects um, tackling basic needs issues and education. So we had projects all around the triangle with our community partners. We also did projects on site supporting numerous school partners in Wake County. So thank you to all the volunteers who were able to join us for Dignity Week. Next up, I just wanted to share a quick recap of National Volunteer Week, which if you're familiar, is always in April every year. Um, we did something really special this National Volunteer Week that we haven't done in years before, and that is pilot test a brand new model for volunteering. If you've been on our newsletter or watched us on social for the past couple, couple of months, you've probably seen us talk about this. This new model is called the Learn and Serve, and it's our mission to transform how volunteering is done in the triangle so that people are having an opportunity to learn a little bit more in depth about the issues they're tackling in partnership with the service that they do. So for this pilot test of our learn and serve projects during National Volunteer Week, we had uh, 77 volunteers engaged and we trained some volunteer leaders. So thank you so much for those leaders and volunteers who came out to support this effort. Um, here's just a quick recap of some of the projects. We did have to reschedule one at the end of the week due to rain that, uh, that week, but we had a lot of amazing, um, Volunteers come out to these specific projects learning more in depth about health and poverty and homelessness and hunger and environmental sustainability. Um, we loved having uh, some of the folks who participated give us their feedback on these projects too so that we could improve um, our learn and serve model. What we were really excited about for this early um, learn and serve pilot was that there was really strong response to the model. We had over 80% of participants across all of these metrics that we care about reported that they have a greater sense of understanding of people who are different from them. They learned more about not just the organization that they serve, but also the root causes of the issue area related to their volunteer service. And they felt more purpose and connection to their community, which we know is so important right now when people are feeling isolated and disconnected. One more thing I'll say about the learn and serve model is that it has a goal of expanding the way people participate in the community, not just volunteering more, but also participating in other aspects of civic life. So the people who participated in our learn and serve pilot test and did our survey at the end said that they were going to do other things too, like learn more about the issues in their community. They're going to donate more. They're going to use their purchase power to advocate for causes that they care about and more. So very exciting initial results. Special shout out to those of you who were able to make it out to our April 1st Find Your Inner Changemaker event. This event kicked off our springtime annual campaign, but it was also the debut of our Learn and Serve model. So those of you who attended this event were able to hear us talk specifically about it and then participate hands-on in some volunteering at the event while enjoying some refreshments and hopefully making some new friends too. So thank you to those uh, donors and volunteers who came out to that event. Here are some awesome some pictures we captured and we hope to have more events like this in the future. Speaking of our Find Your Inner Change Maker annual campaign, we are wrapping that up at the end of May. There's still time to make a contribution if you are so inclined and are interested in doing so. You can find the link to do so on our website. So as for what's coming next, we are now vetting some more uh, schools in Wake County to identify our next cohort of Title I schools that we're going to partner with for our Elevate Schools project. This will open up a lot of new volunteer opportunities later this year, so keep an eye on our website for that. Of course, we also have our big 9-11 day of service coming down the line on Monday, September 11th. Save the date. Get that on your calendar now because we'd love to see you out there volunteering with us. In terms of what's on our minds, we're just wondering how you're all feeling and what trends you're seeing around volunteerism around in your personal networks. Feel free to leave a comment on this video or shoot us an email. Let us know what's on your mind. Hope to see you next time.